Well, hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sherry Marie Ptolemy, and I am a songwriter and filmmaker, and I also have a degree in creative writing, and I really just miss sort of deep diving into books and analyzing them and just gleaming all the wonderful tidbits of information that you can get from them, and I don't miss reading dusty old books written by white men that we were forced to read in our curriculum, but I do really want to apply the skills that I've learned to the books that I'm currently reading just to make sure that I'm still being like a critical thinker and just exercising that muscle and so I thought that'd be kind of fun to extend that skill to booktube and just talk about books that I love and um, sort of try to expand my mind as a writer and a reader. And so I thought I'd just kind of share the books that I've read recently. So I've finished the Cruel Print series and I was, I'm not gonna lie, the first time I picked up this these books was right after I finished Akatar and I was looking for something to fill the void. These did not cut it for me and I had to put them down. But I came back to them and gave them another shot and I was so just like taken aback by how amazing of a main character Jude is. I find her to be such a breath of fresh air and I just love her gumption. I love <laughs> just... I love how juvenile she is and I mean that in a really positive way and I think like she is a great young adult female main character like to look up to in a lot of ways and I just really admire her. I love the plot. The plot in these books, oh my gosh, is a roller coaster and it's non-stop. However, I do wish that the plot was excellent. I do wish that there was more character driven moments or more character just even interactions i think that it felt like we were kind of jumping a lot and i was like wait a minute wait a minute it didn't always add up for me the dialogue was quite minimal i felt which is fine which is like what makes this feel like such a quick read it is so fast paced and i love the pacing but i do feel like at the end I'm not going to give spoilers, but I just felt like the love story for me wasn't as developed as I would have liked. And I was kind of like, but wait a minute, why did these guys even like each other after all this kind of thing? So I just wish there were some more moments and more character interaction that way, a little bit more character development in that way. But overall, I'd probably give it four stars just because I, I was enjoying it. I feel like I did lose a bit of interest over the course of the three books. And if I read this when I was like a teenager, I probably would give it five stars. But because I'm in my late 20s, like I just have different standards for books now. So I just finished Heartless Hunter by Chris, Kristen Ciccarelli. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is, was a beautiful ride. I love this journey. For anyone who's a Pride and Prejudice fan, but also loves fantasy and loves enemies to lovers, this is just, I couldn't recommend it enough. For me, what makes an enemies to lovers so great? There's this element of prejudice or having like predetermined notions or ideas about somebody. And then the beauty of it is that those all get sort of dismantled. And so it, it makes for really great character growth. And it's also just really eye-opening and I think I'm drawn to it so much because I feel like we live in a very judgmental world and so when a book is able to sort of like take an axe to those like social um sort of injustices that we put on each other like I just eat it up every time I think this was great I love the element of the witches I if you see my other vlogs you know that I'm obsessed with the witch trials and the witch hunts and I just find them so maddening and unfair and I feel like this handled it in a way that I really really enjoyed. Oh it was so great. I guess I should tell you a little bit about the plot but essentially it's a witch hunter who falls in love with a witch who's hiding and protecting witches from being unalived. So if that's up your alley, I would definitely give this one a go. I would give it 4.5 stars. The only reason why I don't give it that final 0.5 stars was I felt like the world 
felt very small and I would have, have liked to see more of the surroundings. I would have liked there to be more world building. It did feel super narrow and focused on the main characters which I enjoy but I also really like to have a clear vision of the world that they are operating in and I feel like it was blurry for me at some times. I really love how it was set up for a sequel. Oh, yeah, it was just a, an exciting read. work done. I have a lot of things to apply for or submit for a lot of like the back end stuff of the music business. Um, which actually felt so good to knock a lot of these off, do all like the emailing I have to do, try to figure things out with radio, whatnot, all that kind of thing. I made these cinnamon buns for tonight's book club, but I don't like to serve things I haven't tried to like I, I just don't like not knowing if they're good or not, so I'm gonna give them a try. I forgot to have lunch today, so um, yeah, this will be my little snack, and then I'll have something a bit more substantial. I tried a different recipe this time, and it came out quite nice. Cool, that's good. So that turned out. Anyway, so the girls come over in like two hours. So I just gotta keep getting work done. And then, yeah, we'll have a little book club. next day book club last night was amazing we started earlier but we still ended at the same time I think the girls were here for like four and a half hours but it was good I feel like we all sort of agreed on the book that we read for book club which I'll just touch on I read the audiobook or listened to the audiobook for it so it's the spell shop by Sarah Beth Durst first off I will go saying that this is a really light-hearted cottagecore cute little fun fantasy read it felt very 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 YA like very light duty I feel like if you just want something simple and easy this is the book for you I feel like for me <laughs> I definitely love more complex characters I love more complex plot I feel like this book could have been half the length and still would have been good because there just wasn't much going on plot wise we did not get a lot of backstory and I would rate it three stars for what I like to read I don't think it's a bad book I think it's a cute story it is just very light-hearted and that's just not for me that's that but the book I'm most excited to talk to you about is Metal Slinger by Rachel Schneider I am in love with this already I just started I think I'm on chapter let's see I'm on chapter eight so very very early in and I'm not gonna lie when I first picked this up I thought it was a pirate novel because they're on a ship or something and I was like oh okay cool and they're talking about like the brig and all this kind of stuff and like docking at this place or like I was confused I thought we were on like a pirate adventure turns out it's like more dystopian and more futuristic and it is a ship but it's not a pirate ship <laughs> so I'll just explain it so that we can both figure this out so when an unexpected visitor arrives Bryn's loyalty will be tested as she learns of a world of magic and treachery once her enemy always her enemy right but the dark knowing eyes of a stranger make her question everything so I believe Bryn is a guard or a guard in training in this I'm still figuring out the setting and what the actual world is but I believe it's a fan fantasy romance 
and it definitely starts off with a relationship with it which I like I love when we're sort of dropped in and it feels like these characters have existed this whole time without my knowing and it just makes it feel more real when I'm sort of like dropped in the middle of the plot already if that makes sense like we're not starting at day one and I just really appreciate that and it just feels like it gives us so much to play with so so far to go and you're I don't know it's just a nice setup so I'm just really excited for this book I'm not going to finish it in this vlog I will give my review in the next one I really want to start doing these reading diaries more regularly and hopefully you like them and you're along for the ride I'm always up for rec so if you have any fantasy books that you're loving like I said I'm down for a pirate book if you have any pirate recs that you have got going around anything really I'm sort of willing to test out anything new at this point I definitely prefer if it's a bit on the darker side and I don't mean like dark romance I just mean like to have a bit of grit to the story <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that you will stick around and I'll see you in another one sometime soon and I hope you are well